Uh, it's the heaviest it's ever going to be. All of your power is up. So in other words, you don't have a lot a lot of spare power. Uh, you're uh, configured with the gear down, the flaps down, and you're the slowest, and, and again, most gas and everything else. You're, you're the heaviest you're gonna be at that point. So as they rotate, all right, the airplane then, typically they raise the gear, start to raise the flaps. Uh, American Airlines Flight 191, they got the gear up, but as they're climbing out, something was very, very wrong. But what was wrong with that airplane was virtually, not completely, but virtually identical to what was wrong with this airplane, the MD-11. Fast forward now, all these many years later. All right, what was the issue? Let me read to you from the final report on American Airlines Flight 199, or excuse me, 191. These are the conclusions. The findings were this. The engine and pylon assembly separated either at or immediately after liftoff. The flight crew was committed to continue the takeoff. So that means they were past that go, no go point. It goes on to say the aft end of the pylon assembly began to separate in the forward flange of the aft bulkhead. So that uh, the pylon attaches to the wing in a forward position and an aft position. The forward position eventually did give way, but it, it gave way due to overstress, not a pre-existing fracture. The aft assembly was the one that gave way First, and that's what they're telling us here. There was a pre-existing crack or some sort of a stress fracture already existing in that. It was just a matter of time until it was gonna give way. Remember that engine producing all of that thrust is slightly out in front of the leading edge of the wing. It's producing all that thrust. It's essentially pulling the airplane into the air. So as it, American Airlines 191 gets pulled into the air, that aft assembly, that aft pylon holding point eventually breaks and gives way and the engine is going to begin to rotate up it's going to overstress the forward attachment point to the point where it breaks off and the whole thing goes over the top of the wing and it comes off they go on to 